create a React app with TypeScript. So why do we want to create a React app with TypeScript? Well, to answer that, I guess we just have to tell you what TypeScript is, right? So TypeScript extends JavaScript to make it a stronger typed language. And in doing so, it'll help you catch errors and help you find fixes before you run your code. It'll work anywhere that JavaScript's available. So let's create a React app using TypeScript. So step one, go ahead and go to nodejs.org and download um, Node.js. You're gonna need that for NPM to install your packages. Now open Visual Studio Code and click on the um, Explorer in the top left. That'll take you to this screen. You can right click in here and do um, either new folder or if you're not in the place where you wanna work, you can go ahead and open folder. You can do that from the top, file, open folder, or open workspace, just to get where you wanna start. And then you're gonna to wanna to open the terminal. So click terminal, new terminal. You'll see right here, drop down, you might, might say bash, you might say PowerShell. Um, just make sure you're in the terminal that you're familiar with that you do other code, other work in on your computer. Um, so for me, I'm going to use PowerShell. Now, global installs of Create React App are no longer supported. So we're going to go ahead and uninstall uh, if you have it installed globally. That way, NPX always chooses the most up-to-date version of Create React App. So I'm going to do npm uninstall dash g for global create dash react dash app. All right. So now that's done. We're ready to create our app. So let's go ahead and create it with npx create dash react dash app. And then we'll do dash, uh, we'll name our application and it has to use all lowercase letters now. So we'll say my silly app and we'll do dash dash template TypeScript to tell it to use TypeScript. Now, this may take a little while, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward so you're not waiting on me in the video. Okay, now, so if you were to try to just do npm start, it may not find your application. And as you can see, it's actually looking kind of in a different folder than the name of our app. I named it My Silly App. So uh, I need to go one more level in from where I ran Create React App. So change directory to My Silly App. And now I could do npm start. Let's go ahead and start your development server. You may get a pop-up asking for permissions, um, but this is how you get started. So now you've successfully built a TypeScript React app. So let's take a look at a couple of the files that it generated. So if you expand your app out here on the left and go down to the tsconfig.json, it built that one for you. You'll see that here's the target ES5 by default. Um, so uh, tr uh, TypeScript transcompiles down into JavaScript, and this is telling it ECMAScript 5. Now, um, as of the this video, we're past that, right? So you could pick ECMAScript 6 or, or later, but I would say just do ES next, and that will pick the most recent ECMAScript available. And you want to take the latest version you can, because it actually turns your JavaScript into shorter code to execute to accomplish the same thing, uh, which is less to load on the server, right? Um, now, the whole point of having TypeScript is to add uh, more rules and make it a little bit more restricted to make sure you don't have those runtime errors that you run into later. Um, but if you do find that it's a little bit too limiting, you can turn off this strict value, which defaults to true. You could make that false there. False. All right, so next let's look at the package.json. So if you open package.json, you'll see some scripts here. It'll help you uh, run or eject your React code. Eject will kind of like take out the, take out what's created this framework called React and turn it into a whole bunch of files that you, know, you could then modify to change the way React works. So that's kind of more of an advanced move there. Uh, testings for testing, um, buildings to get it ready for production, and start is just to run it. You can just do npm uh, start as well. Uh, moving up here, uh, dependencies. I think you know what dependencies are if you're just watching this video to get get this thing working with TypeScript. But basically, dependencies is just uh, libraries, uh, front end libraries that are prerequisites to get your application to run. So, uh, for instance, if you're inside of 
uh, one of your components and you have another component that you reference from within it, that component would need to be put in here. Or actually you could reference that component from within that file, but there may be a dependent library on that component and you would reference it here. Um, so, uh, but what's different now is that we've added the types here because we're using TypeScript. And if you see a dependency that has um, three numbers, it's gonna be major, minor, patch. So what major means is just basically, it could be breaking changes uh, from the previous version. Uh, minor, the middle number, is gonna be, uh, it might be a big change or a minor change, but they call it minor because it's non-breaking changes. And then the last number is patch. Patch just means like a, it could be a bug fix. Uh, so um, now what you could do is you could specify the caret, this symbol right here, which means that um, when we, if we do npm update in the command line down here in the terminal, then you know you could get a new version here in this middle number. And if you were to change this to a tilde and you did npm update, then it would only update uh, the patches or bug fixes. Okay, so over here on your SRC folder, you'll notice there's an index and an app TSX. If you go to index, there's an app tag there. That'll be the first page that loads. If you hit F12, take into your app. Uh, here's which, what's being rendered on the right. If you follow the instructions here and make, make changes to it, and you hit save, you'll notice that it re-renders. It's not all that fast, but it, it, it works. Um, so now if you wanted to create a custom component, you'll have to create a, a file. So you can go new file, we'll call it mycomponent.tsx. Now uh, in your component, you can create a, a class that extends React component. Now you'll see classes underlined in red. You have, you'll have to import React to let it know what React is. And our component is just called ABC. So why don't we call our file ABC? And now back in your app, you can put that right in here as a tag. Self-closing tag. And you'll notice that's underlined in red. So we need to import that. So we'll do import and we'll do ABC. Uh, we'll do ABC from dot slash, which is current directory slash ABC. Oops. I was trying to do file save, but my alt key is broken. And we need a semicolon there. And it's underlined in red because it has no default export. So we'll go back to ABC and we'll add default export. So export default. Save all. And there it is, ABC. Well, you have your TypeScript app created. Um, so the next things that you'll want to look up, and it's kind of outside the scope of this video, since this video was just to get your application built so you could, um, or generated so you could start building it, is you're going to want to look up maybe importing um, multiple components from one folder. This is quite simple. They'll, we'll show you how to create another TypeScript uh, file with exports in it um, and the curly braces up here. And then the other thing that you'll want to learn is um, getting um, interfaces in TypeScript and using those interfaces to define your um, parameter types that come into each component. And then you'll want to learn how to take those parameters that have come in and apply them to state, and then how to use that state throughout the application. So I think that will be the context of my next React app. It'll also be in TypeScript. Um, and I hope this was helpful to you and have a great day. Bye.